Let's do the Afro Man one. So the story starts with Afro Man's home being raided by seven members of the Adam County Sheriff's Office, okay? They raided his home last year. Four deputies, two sergeants of the detective are claiming now that Afro Man, uh, Joseph Foreman, might 78, thank you for the tank of the subs, by the way, um, have invaded or has invaded the privacy of said uh, uh, law enforcement officers after they raided his fucking home. Because he took footage of their faces obtained during the raid and used it in music videos and social media posts without their consent, a misdemeanor violation under Ohio revised code. They're also suing on civil grounds saying Foreman's use of their faces in the videos and social media posts resulted in their emotional distress, embarrassment, ridicule, loss of reputation, and humiliation. Now, because it's Ohio, I feel like, you know, that could work in their favor. But I do hope that he fucking countersues them. Also, here's the music video. Let's take a look. Afro Man, will you help me repair my door? Official music video. Kidnapping. <laughs> Let me ask you something, officer. Any kidnapping victims inside my seat pockets? Are there any kidnapping victims inside my suit pockets? You crooked cops need to stop it. There are no kidnapping victims in my suit pockets. Let me ask you another question. Is there a thousand pounds of weed in my suit pockets? Is there a thousand pounds of weed in my suit pockets? You crooked cops need to stop it. There's not a million pounds of weed in my suit pockets. Let me ask you something else. Any kidnapping victims inside my CDs? They're Any just looking, brother. Inside my CDs. The Adams County Sheriff Department, you can get these. There are no kidnapping victims in my, in my CDs. How many pounds of weed are inside my CDs? How many pounds of weed <laughs> Just are inside vibing. My CDs? Not a cell phone in sight. Yep. Adams County Sheriff, you can get these. How many pounds of weed did you find in my CDs? Why are you still in my 
money. Oh no. Why are you stealing my money? That's the state's assets now, brother. Yeah. It's called asset forfeiture, brother. Disconnected my cameras. The sheriff disconnected my cameras. The sheriff should be locked up in slammers. The Adams County Sheriff Department disconnected my camera. That's so fucked up. Traumatize my kids. Did you have to traumatize my kids? Did you have to traumatize my kids? Did you have to traumatize my kids? Will you pay me for doing me wrong? Pay me for doing me wrong. <clears throat> Will you pay me for doing me wrong? Or will I have to get paid from this song? Hey, you think they're gonna buy this, man? <laughs> Can you imagine a world in which the fucking cops actually win the lawsuit where there isn't a top of the hour ad break where you can avoid said ads at the top of the hour by subscribing for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime? Imagine a world like that. Imagine a world where there is no gifted subs. So you can't get gifted a sub to avoid the top of the hour ad break. Imagine a terrifying proposition. We are not, we do not live in that world, but the top of the hour ad break is here, but you can avoid said ads by subscribing or by getting gifted the sub. Moonmite78, thank you for the 10 and now five gifted subs. And noop noop 88 for the five gifted subs, allowing 20 people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. This is Lemon Cake by Afro Man. Lemon Pound Cake, as a matter of fact. So he made a couple songs about the police raid that took place. The Adams County Sheriff kicked down my door. Then I heard the glass spray. They found no kidnapping victims, just some lemon pound cake. Mama's lemon pound cake. It takes so Anyway, so law enforcement searched Afro Man's uh, home on suspicion of drug trafficking and kidnapping, but found no evidence and filed no charges against them. He said they kicked down his door, broke his video surveillance system, stole money from him, and frightened his family. <sighs> Afro Man, whose real name is Joseph Foreman, told NPR in a phone interview that he did what his was his next smartest, most peaceful solution. <laughs> Big ass head. I ask myself, as a powerless black man in America, what can I do to the cops that kicked my door in, tried to kill me in front of my kids, stole my money, and disconnected my cameras, he says. And the only thing I could come up with was make a funny rap song about them and make some money. Use the money to pay for the damages they did and move on. He, of course, then released this album with songs about the raid and made music videos out of the surveillance footage. He created merchandise and social media posts calling out the officers who had been involved. Now, those officers are suing him, his label, and a Texas-based music distribution company for invasion of privacy. Of course, they do not consider what they did to be a gross invasion of privacy 
or a violation of human rights. Ironic, because that's precisely what they did. Four deputies, two sergeants, and one detective from the Adams County Sheriff's Office are accusing the rapper of profiting from the unauthorized use of their likeness at their personal and professional expense. In a complaint filed in an Ohio police court last week, they say it's been more difficult and dangerous to carry out their duties because of comments made and attitudes expressed towards them by members of the public who have seen the videos. They say they have received death threats and also suffered humiliation, ridicule, mental distress, and embarrassment for and a loss of reputation. Which, to that I say, boo fucking who? The plaintiffs are seeking all of Afro Man's profits from the use of their personas, including proceeds of the songs, videos, and live events, as well as Afro Man branded merchandise such as beer, marijuana, and t-shirts, as well as a court injunction to take down the music videos and social media posts. Unless defendants are restrained, plaintiffs will suffer irreparable injury to their reputation, their mental health, and their legally protected rights as defendants continue to willfully and maliciously violate their rights now the irony here is of course since this uh became news once again the strike the streisand effect uh absolutely uh blew the fuck up and that uh the videos have gained uh millions of views in the past 24 hours because now it's like national news originally when it first started everyone was uh when this first happened everyone tried to get me to watch it I didn't even watch it because I was like, yeah, that's funny. But like, yeah, I got some other news shit going on. But now that it's like gotten to this level, I, it was, you know, unavoidable for me. Uh, unlike the top of the hour ad break, which is avoidable by subscribing, like I said. Um, so, yeah. Afro man says his immediate reaction to the lawsuit was a drop of anger, disbelief, and a little anxiety followed by tons of laughter. I was thinking these big bad cops are being beat up and bullied by those little corny rap songs I made about them. Afro man says, I'm like, oh my God, are you letting me know that my raps are working on you? Watch out. One of his music videos related to this incident had a censored blowjob in it. It's iffy. That's why I hid because I didn't know if it was like, you know. I didn't know if that was this one or not. Afroman's online merchandise store, Petals, sweatshirts currently sold out, and t-shirts showing Griffin and a large lemon cake surrounded by black and white images of the officer in the video with the names Afroman and Officer Pound Cake. The video for another number called Will You Help Me Repair My Door is a montage of clips from the raid. So yeah. Yet another incredible moment. Hopefully, Afro Man countersues and eviscerates them. Hopefully, Afro Man sues for damages on top of that because he should. And hopefully, these cops uh, finally uh, cave to their mental distress. Uh, also, Steve Vanzetti is asking for five bucks. Uh, because I was looking at his uh, account He's the one who, I guess, wrote the article for the Texas Observer. You can get one of the hoodies. Private property, bro? Fuck no, dude. I don't spread the wealth. Anyway. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. The story is wonderful. The story is great. I love it. I fucking love it. Show the BJ you commie fuck? Yeah, no.